Well, hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, this critical skill that has a man instantly bond with you. And this is very critical, so you need to learn this. Okay, uh, really quickly, these are my um, weekend videos I shoot out on my balcony, very similar to the videos I shoot in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery. Check out the link below. Uh, my group is a private group where you get uh, access to me on a regular basis through a once a, web, once a month webinar and a private Facebook group where I shoot three videos a week based on the questions you ask. And the best part of this is it's only $20 a month to have direct access to me on a regular basis. So if you wanna to talk to me, and you can't afford coaching, go there. Okay, check out the link below. Okay, we're gonna talk about this critical skill that men instantly bond with you. Now, there's this saying that uh, men fall in love through sex and women give sex to fall in love or something along those lines. And certainly when we when we're sexual with another human being, by the way, that's not where we're going today, okay? It's not gonna be about sex. But when we're, when we're sexual with another human being, we release chemicals that make us bond to another human being. So, and this is, but it's very temporary. These, these chemicals are very temporary because they go very quickly and they're not really rooted in any sort of attachment, any sort of attachment. This is why, um, and, and here's the challenging part, because many men and women have chosen partners to be in their lives that are so unsuited for them, so unsuited for them, and yet they're bonded to those people. I know many of you are probably wondering, why does a man, you know, um, why, does, why is a man with that woman? She's so not right for him or vice versa kind of thing. We men say this about women all the time. Why is she with a jerk? Why does she like the bad boy? Why does she like assholes? Well, part of the problem is within human beings, uh, and I'm gonna get to the instantly bond in a second, is um, an unhealthy love attachment and an unhealthy wound that stems from childhood called, and it's, it's, it's repeating patterns from our childhood known as the Imago. And if you're not familiar with the book, Getting the Love You Want by Harvell Hendricks and Helen Hunt, I highly recommend checking out this book. This will help you understand why we've chosen partners in our past. We bonded with partners in our past because we're repeating patterns from our childhood. That's one of the primary challenges with many people in relationship. So if you don't understand this and if you don't heal this, you're gonna repeat this pattern and men are gonna repeat this pattern, okay? By the way, does anyone recognize my t-shirt where this is from? If you do, post a comment below. Uh, this is a cartoon from the 60s, one I grew up with that I loved. Also, by the way, my mug says, it's a that's all mug that says, I make the world go around, what do you do? I love this mug. Anyway, so we often choose based on the Imago. And this is because there's a deep lack of, with most human beings, a lack of self-love, of feeling, I feel good enough, I feel lovable, I feel likable. Are you, do you ever feel that way? A lack of not being good enough, not being lovable, not being likable? And if you've ever felt that way, I highly recommend checking out my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? I know you're annoyed. If you binge watch my videos, you hear me talk about my book again and again and again. But here's the thing. I repeat myself over and over again for a reason. I'm here to encourage you to do a, a daily personal development, self-help, and spiritual practice. Because when you've created the foundation, you're gonna be setting yourself up for what's next. Because how a man instantly bonds with a woman is when he feels safe with her, when he feels safe with her, when he feels like she's his confidant. Now this is really tricky and I know some of you are thinking, and by the way, this, this, this is two-sided. You should feel safe with a man and he must feel safe with you. And this starts by, by co-creating a relationship from the very beginning, by being vulnerable, by being authentic, by being transparent. Let me repeat that, by being vulnerable, by being authentic, by being transparent. We are so riddled with armor. Most people are riddled with the armor of being so afraid to speak your truth. Chapter one in my book, speak your truth, do it with kindness. 
And I'm here to say, when you can be his confidant, I want you to think of the movie When Harry Met Sally. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But this is a, this is a relationship that was built on a strong foundation of, of confidence with one another. That feeling of, I can talk to you like my best friend. Let's think about that. The best communication you have most likely in your life is with your best friend, okay? Now, if your best friend isn't the person you're in partnership, then that's what has to be developed to feel like you can talk to your best friend because when it's sincere and from the heart, you can never say the wrong thing to the right person. By the way, that's in my book as well. This is why if you haven't studied the work of Barbara DeAngelis, I highly recommend checking out this book, How to Make Love All the Time by Barbara DeAngelis. Look how thick this is. This is a book to teach you how to become confident with one another. And ladies, before the penis gets to go inside the vagina, start being more intentional. Stop, being, stop getting caught up in this rhetoric of feminine energy and all a man has to do is claim you and you just sit, lean back and let him come to you. Yes, instinct, biology, and socialization. That's how we get into the first grade relationships. I want to teach you how to get into master level relationships. Okay, if you want first grade relationships that don't go anywhere, then, then follow that advice because they're short-lived relationships because without emotional maturity, your relationship isn't gonna go anywhere. And without true vulnerability, authenticity, and transparency, you could be in a relationship of companionship, connection, and sex, as Esther Perel calls it, stable ambiguity. It's stable because you're monogamous and exclusive with one another, but what's ambiguous is the commitment to one another. And I'm here to encourage a stronger level of commitment. And that's why I highly recommend checking out these books. Is this sinking in? Is this resonating? If it is, please post a comment below. If you like my t-shirt, please post a comment below. Um, by the way, my teddy bear says hi. Please say hi to him. This was a gift from a client. All right. I hope this is sinking in. If you want him to instantly bond you, you have to become his confidant. Otherwise, it ain't gonna happen. All right, <laughs> wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm gonna reach into the camera, oops, and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm gonna ask you to turn to someone or a pet or even a teddy bear and give it a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love. And let's face it, we could all use more love in our lives. I wanna thank you a bunch and wishing you a fab day. Bye-bye.